Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the comparison between single and three phase AC system. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Sub copy of this material available in the drive, the link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic, the comparison between single phase and three phase AC system. We will see the definition, this is the description, the single phase and third column is the three phase. First we will see the definition. For single phase, the power supply through only one conductor. The supply is going by only one conductor. In case of three phase, the power supply through a three conductors. There are three conductors are available. We will see the waveform. This is the waveform of the single phase AC supply, voltage waveform. The x axis time, y axis voltage. So, AC means we know that alternating, alternating current. Initially, the value is zero. Then voltages keep on increases and reaches the maximum value at 90 degree thereafter decreases and reaches the zero value at 180 degree this is called a hop cycle right well, then again it increases in negative direction and reaches the maximum value at 270 degree again start decreases and reaches the zero value at 360 degree this is another half cycle so the total cycle is called a full cycle this is called positive half cycle and this is negative of cycle 0 to 90 increases 90 to 180 decreases 180 to 270 again increases in negative direction 270 to 360 again decreases in negative direction there this is positive of cycle and this is negative of cycle entirely it is called a full cycle having only one voltage waveform while going to the three phase ac supply we have three voltages are available r y b voltage across R phase, voltage across Y phase, voltage across B phase. The sequence is R, Y, B, red, yellow, blue, right. So the red voltage starts, red phase starts at 0 degree. It goes like a, like a single phase, it will keep on going. The Y phase starts at 120 degree. There is a 120 degree phase displacement between each and every phases. So R phase red phase starts at 0 degree, y phase starts at 120 degree, then it will keep on going as a alternating current. Then this b phase starts at 240 degree, right, then they, they then keep on it is going. So r phase 0 degree, y phase 120 degree, b phase 240 degree, right, it is keep on going. So in, the, in case of single phase, if we add positive half cycle and negative half cycle, the net voltage will be 0. For example, here 100 voltage is means here minus 100 voltage. By adding both full cycle, the net value is 0. But that not happen in the three phase system. See this at 0 degree R phase increases in positive direction. This B phase is decreasing in negative direction. At the same time, this Y phase is increasing in a negative direction. So, one phase increasing, another phase decreasing means the net value will be there. The sum of these three is the, is the resultant value. Here, the resultant value will be 0, but here resultant value is not 0 because R phase starts 0, Y phase starts 120, B phase starts 240. At the given time, one phase is increasing means another phase decreasing means the re resultant value will be always available. It is around 1.67 uh, phase voltage. Right. So, the three phases available, the three phases will not got cancelled. The resultant value almost available 1.637 times of the uh, resultant voltage. That is the main advantage of the three phase system. In single phase, entire positive of cycle, if you add, it becomes zero. But here, always the some voltage will be available because of three phases displaced with 120 degree. That is around 1.67 times of output voltage right now we'll go to the remaining remaining definitions the third one is the number of wires require two wires for completing the circuit it's a single phase ac system we already discussed only one conductor for retaining we need one more conductor that is totally we need two wires phase and neutral one is for phase another one is for neutral here require four wires for completing the cycle. Three for three phases R, Y, B. One is the neutral, right? The fourth wire is the neutral. Here phase and neutral two wires required. 
here r phase y phase b phase three wires required and n phase that is n neutral one more wire is required so totally we require four wires right so phase neutral two wires r y b neutral four wires the voltage is around 230 voltage the voltage is 230 voltage in a single phase just in the three phase we are measuring phase to phase so around 415 voltage here we are referring phase to neutral so phase to neutral around 230 voltage will be there where here we are referring phase to phase so one phase around 220 voltage will be there another phase another 220 voltage will be there so while measuring phase to phase is around 415 voltage this is standard value 415 voltage then phase name split phase only two phases away only two wires so this split phase no other name r phase y phase b phase right the network is it is simple because we have only two wires phase and neutral but this is complicated three wires are available we can need to go with a phase displacement current voltage everything we need to concentrate then the losses losses are maximum here yeah, losses are minimum why losses are maximum we have already discussed only one phase is available the sum of two got zero positive half cycle plus negative half cycle if you add that will be zero right but here three phases available at a given time we are got got 1.6 time so always the voltage is utilized by the load here all the load may be got losses there may be losses due to only one phase right now we'll go to the remaining remaining parameters the next one is the efficiency efficiency here less here high because three phase we are utilizing maximum voltage from the three phases here the efficiency will be lesser economical also very lesser for erecting the single phase we need pole everything but we have only one phase is available for the same pole we, are, we can transmit three phases at a given time three phases are available the, so the economical will be more for usage for home appliances the load available in the home we are using single phase fan tube light the fridge refrigerator ac for that we are using the uh, single phase supply in three phase supply large industries and for running heavy loads for single phase we are getting only 230 voltage while going with the three phase we are getting 415 voltage so in that the automatically the current also increases so the total power will be increases while using three phase power voltage as well as current so we can go with a industrial application that is for heavy running the heavy loads heavy loads definitely we need three phase so the voltage level increases so that automatically the current level will also increases so that we are able to run the heavy loads using the three phase ac system so in this video we discuss about the comparison of single phase and three phase so the single phase we are having only two conductor phase and neutral used for the home appliance home appliances and three phase we have four wires r y b and neutral that is normally used for industrial application to run the heavy loads subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.